32-year-old Carolina Lishman was stabbed to death in her own home by her husband, Rial Lishman, in November 2017, following an argument. She suffered 12 stab wounds, including one which fatally penetrated her heart. The alert was raised by their daughter, at the time only six years old. Lishman also sustained injuries, including one life-threatening wound to the heart. Lishman later stood trial for his wife's murder and was found guilty by a jury of 12. He was sentenced to life in prison in early 2019. However, his lawyers subsequently launched an appeal on legal technicalities, arguing the defense of loss of self-control was not given fair consideration during the trial. The appeal was successful and the murder conviction was quashed. The case was set for a retrial. However, on the day it was due to start, the defendant pleaded guilty to manslaughter. This was questioned by the judge, who said it seemed there was enough evidence for murder. However, the prosecution explained it was the family who did not want to go through another trial. The plea was accepted on this basis. The family have since disputed this was their wish and say they have been betrayed by the prosecution. Lishman was sentenced to 10 years and 10 months in prison by the Supreme Court, a sentence which went beyond court guidelines for manslaughter convictions, with the judge explaining this was because of Lishman's extreme violence as well as the profound impact Carolina's death has had on her family, particularly her children. However, Lishman's legal team, led by John Cooper QC, launched an appeal of the sentence, arguing not enough weight was given to mitigation put forward on his behalf and too much emphasis was placed on aggravating factors. The appeal has been successful and the 10-year, 10 10-month 10 sentence has now been reduced to six years. According to his lawyers, he is eligible for parole on the 8th of November.